Welcome to Geek Buzz. I'm Nixie Pixel here to talk about nerdy stuff that boggles my mind, like nanotechnology and violent video games. Engage. Congratulations, Super Happies. You won a recase by MiniWiz in last week's comment contest. All right. The University of Pennsylvania Robotics team created a giant crazy swarm of nanocopters. These nano quadcopters fly in formation, do flips, fly in figure eights. Uh, basically, they could enter for the Olympics. Check out UPenn's previous videos, those are amazing. They're seen building structures and dodging obstacles, and you can find the full video in the link below. There are so many possibilities for these but I'm actually on the fence. This is scary, but it could be really awesome at the same time. I mean, they can replace the work of humans for search and rescue, um, but there's always this horror story fear of intelligent life and robots. So I asked some of you what you thought, and here's what you said. Tipak Kumar says, I, for one, welcome our new Skynet overlords. SC4MM0 says, Skynet is coming. Zach Bernard says, pretty freaking awesome. And Woody says, looks like IRL Space Invaders. Freaking and awesome indeed. Looks like we don't have to worry about intelligent robots as we have some of our own human robots brewing trouble. Specifically, Democratic State Representative William whatever the hell is named for killer. He's planning on taxing violent video games based on ESRB ratings, so I guess the worse and more fight-oriented the game will be, the higher the taxes will be. The taxes from violent video games will go to a fund for encouraging kids to frolic in a patch of daisies and generally be outside. Here's a quote from 4Killer. Violent video games contribute to some of our societal problems like obesity and bullying, but they raise a lot of revenue, so it can also provide part of the solution. He's from Oklahoma. Oh my God, I'm gonna kill you. Next up, and I swear I won't be talking about Apple every episode, but Apple Store antics are funny, let's admit it. So let's talk about Apple censorship. Apparently Cosmo Magazine can talk about kinky sex and G-spots, and it's allowable for 12 year olds like the Apple policy states, but Muy Interesante Magazine talked about the penis health, and that was deemed wrong and bad. So the applications, like I said, must be appropriate for 12 year olds. And uh, apparently Apple thinks that G spots and kinky sex are okay, but penises are no bueno. So this week's question is, what do you think of Apple's notoriously strict policy on avoiding all erotic applications to save the children? Do we Android users get all the smutty apps while Apple users just get the shaft? Ooh, I can't probably say that. Let me know in a comment or video response below and you will get bountiful amounts of llama snuggles. Until next time, talk nerdy to you later. So yeah, but Picard, Picard is like engaged. Sure, sure, that was a piece of shit. Let's start over. Mm -hmm.